So what's best for chopping firewood? Is it an axe or is it four axes? Let's find out. But since I now have four axes laying around, I kind of need to throw a few, right? So check out my awesome axe throwing skills. They are pretty sick. If you want to see how good I really am at axe throwing, I'm going to put that clip in the end of this video. So don't miss that. Follow up question. Is it better to have four guys with one axe each? <laughs> or is it better to have one guy with four axes? Ow. So you saw the thumbnail. That's not what I mean by four axes. So lately I've been seeing a lot of these cross bladed axes. The ones with two axe heads welded together. So you can create an axe capable of splitting a piece of wood into four pieces with one blow. Which is pretty impressive. And I mean there are a few videos out there uh, that I have been watching and they look really cool. So when I was watching those videos I kind of thought to myself why not take this a step further. Or maybe two steps further. I want to see if I can make a quad bladed axe. Which in theory should be able to split a piece of wood into eight pieces with one blow. Quite an upgrade. So that's what we're making today. We're making a quad bladed axe. So I got these four cheap axes yesterday and now I need to strip the paint. I need to cut them into pieces and weld them together. I also got a proper wooden handle. So let's do it. Quick update, I managed to get one of the handles off. It's some kind of super nasty plastic with the glass fiber reinforcement in the middle. It was horrible to get through and luckily I just need one of these with a hole in and the rest I'm just gonna cut to pieces with my angle grinder. So let's do that. I'm finally done with all of the cutting of the axe heads. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different pieces. One being the big axe head, of course. And then I'm gonna weld six pieces of the other heads to that one. I'm gonna start by making the cross-headed axe. Then I have these smaller pieces that I'm gonna try to weld on a kind of a four to five degree angle. And as you can see, that's a perfect four to five degree angle. And for those of you who don't agree, I can just say that it's perfectly eyeballed. Ow! It's so hot. So I made some progress on my welding skills, as you can hopefully see right there. So let's see how that turns out when I need to do this for real. So I'm going to try to put these glasses onto my camera lens and see if that can record anything. F***ing horrible. Okay, I'm going to do this off camera. It's like two days later, I'm finally done with all the welding and I'm not going to show you the welds in details because I think I'm going to offend the whole welding community by doing so. Let's just imagine I put down really nice beads and not that I patched it and grinded it and sanded it and did that for two days straight just to get it to stick and look somewhat acceptable. So here's my finished axe head. It's not perfectly straight as you can see, but I mean, it's all in there. Bit of grinding marks. So now I'm just going to pop the handle in and then we're going to try it out. It's a little bit wobbly, but I'm uh, going to plug it. Uh, okay. It did make kind of a nice cross in it though, but... Uh, it is a really nice pattern. I think my wood is a bit too wet. I managed to find one of these in the forest. If I don't manage to break this watermelon with my axe, I'm totally shutting this channel down. So, wish me luck. So if you're looking for a more efficient way to cut your watermelon, I would totally recommend building one of these. Otherwise, don't, because as far as firewood goes, it's not the best. All right. Remember that clip I promised you in the beginning? We're gonna show you how good I'm actually at at throwing axes. Let's roll that video now. And also check out this video, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.